They're the 781st Military Intelligence Battalion, braving the blustery conditions on this Friday morning. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, a look at this year's Black History Month observance. The AER campaign is underway, and a blood drive is coming up. These stories and more, but first a couple of important traffic reminders. Starting March 19th, a military physical training area is being closed to vehicle traffic from 6.30 to 7.30 each weekday morning. This is the area affected. It starts from the intersection of 6th Street and Chisholm Avenue, south to 1st Street, east along 1st Street to Chamberlain Avenue, north along Chamberlain to 6th Street, and west back to Chisholm. All cross streets within this area will be closed to traffic except for 4th Street. Anyone needing to access the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade Headquarters or the Directorate of Public Works in Building 294 needs to use the 4th Street crossing at Chisholm Avenue. In a related story, the 4 beat automated installation entry system is being upgraded starting March 6th. According to the Visitor Control Center, during the estimated three-week upgrade, security guards will check IDs manually. Additionally, the VCC says that AIE passes or badges won't be issued. Once again, the upgrade is estimated to take three weeks. In other news, soldiers helping soldiers. That's the slogan, and it means the annual Army Emergency Relief Campaign is underway. AER provides interest-free loans, grants, and scholarships to soldiers, Army retirees, and family members to cover expenses in an emergency. A reciprocal agreement on Fort Meade between AER and other services relief organizations means non-Army personnel can receive assistance as well. Last year, Fort Meade exceeded its fundraising goal by $15,000. This year's goal? Last year we raised $74,000. Um, our goal was only $50,000, so uh, this year we're going to set $65,000. You can contact your unit representative for more information. Meanwhile, here's this year's AER promotional video with a word from the Sergeant Major of the Army, Daniel Daly. Are you prepared to pay for the costs associated with a permanent change in duty station? What about unexpected leave? Auto repairs? groceries for your family, even sending your child to college. Every soldier does their best to plan and provide for their family, but sometimes you just need a little help. That's when soldiers turn to Army Emergency Relief, a soldier's first choice since 1942. AER stands ready to provide you and your family with zero interest financial assistance. Throughout my Army career, I've had dozens of soldiers turn to AER for help. Without fail, if the need was there, AER gave them the help they needed. AER really is soldiers helping soldiers. February is National Black History Month, and Fort Meade held its observance last week at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker was Dr. Betty Mosley Brown, the Associate Director of the VA Center for Women Veterans in the Army and all the different services that are here, we don't have the luxury of saying race first anymore because we are on a mission. We must stand together to get the job done. We don't have a chance to really be in the mix of distress. We have to find a way to overcome, and we shall overcome this day, won't we? The ceremony included a presentation by the director of the Defense Media Activity, Ray Shepard, who recognized the efforts of one of his employees, Willie Kendrick, the artist responsible for this year's Black History Month poster. But this is what we call the Awesome Award. And we want to be more awesome in making that drawing for so you. get a day off for that. So. Yeah. <laughs> And a final note from MWR, they're putting on a weightlifting competition on Saturday, March 10th at Murphy Fieldhouse. There are five weight classes for men ranging from 150 to over 225 pounds and four women's classes from 125 to over 175 pounds. Pre-registration ends on March 8th. Go to www.me.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. USO Metro supports our military and their families in the National Capital Region. Our mission is to strengthen America's service members by keeping them connected to family, home, and country. USO Metro is there with a place to relax and enjoy a snack, assistance as they travel home or into harm's way, comfort as they heal from wounds or recover from illness, and reassurance as they transition back into civilian life. Visit us online at usometro.org.